Now let's insert a bolt, expand the design library, go to the toolbox, ANSI metric, bolts and screws, machine screws countersunk. Let's bring in the oval head screw. Press the tab key to put the screw upside right. Let the mouse button go. Now instead of size M3, we've ended up with size M3.5, and that's because we chose a loose fit. What SolidWorks did was just use the next size up instead. Let's cancel out of the Configure Component Property Manager and edit our part. Under Fit, this time I'm going to select Close. Let's accept and see what happens now. We'll bring in the same screw, press Tab to put it upside right, and this time, as you see in the Property Manager, we've ended up with the correct screw size. Let's cancel out for now. Now I'm going to bring in a washer and a nut. Since I don't know the total thickness of my assembly, I'm going to insert the washer and the nut first. Let's expand the design library. Go to washers. Plain washers should be just fine. Let's bring in the regular flat washer. Just drag and drop it right in. For size, M3 is pre-selected. Once again, if SolidWorks selects the wrong size, I just go ahead and reselect it. Let's accept and then cancel out of the property manager. Now let's bring in a nut. 